Hey coaches, welcome to another edition of Talking Football with Coach Mackey. I'm your host, Coach Mackey, and this is a continuation of the 30 for 30. Now, if you haven't visited my channel before, uh, what this channel is about is football. I talk about all things football, passing schemes, running schemes, tempo, defense, RPOs, any and everything that has to do with offense or defense or just the game of football itself, I talk about. So if that's something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button down below, click that little bell notification right there. And if this sounds okay, please give me a thumbs up. Go ahead, coaches, crack on the hair and the face. I shaved it all today because I'm cooped up. This is day three of quarantine. And I have watched now Mickey Mouse's Clubhouse for about 32 times today. I have seen every single uh, episode. It is awful. You lost your manliness. I know, right? I look like a Q-tip. I look like a, a bootleg Moby. <laughs> so I hope all y'all are doing okay. I hope the quarantine's going all right, the stay at home, social distances, all of that stuff. Um, what I want to talk about today is there's an interesting, I wrote this guy's name down, um, Jan, Coach James Antonini. I hope I said that right, Coach. He hit me up on Twitter and he was like, hey, if you could run the air raid and only have four uh, pass plays, what would they be? And that got me thinking. I was like, that's a great question. Because, you know, if you are to go at a small school, at a, at a little school, and you want to put the air raid in, you can't put everything. You can't put everything that you see into the uh, playbook because you got guys going on both ways. So I was thinking, what are four plays that you can get the most bang from your buck? and allows you to pass the ball, lets you um, be dynamic, have a couple of tags, all that stuff, and I will get in the tags later on, but it was great. So this is what I'm gonna do, a little thought experiment right now. If I was gonna go to a school that has, let's say 25 kids, and I wanna put in the air raid, what were the only four, let's say four and then a run, the run would be some form of draw right there. I'm not going to draw that up, but what are the four passes I would use and rep over and over and over again? And then I said, okay, Let's take that a step further. What's the only formation I could use? And that's what we're going to get into in a minute. But first, I see all y'all here. Thank you. High fives and butt slaps. Let me say what's going on. Cold, you're making fun of me. Jolly, you're making fun of me. Uh, Raphael from Brazil, welcome. Uh, Dent, you may make Kojak, thank you. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Shut up. I hate, <laughs> I hate that. Uh, Co Coach Hill from Tennessee, what's going up? Coach Doyle from Tennessee, Terry from California. Uh, asked, asked for six, though. It's <laughs> Sorry, Coach. I'll get to it, I promise. Uh, Bremen, uh, listening, welcome. Treehouse from Ohio. Brian from Michigan. Jeff from Michigan, what's going on, fellas? We got a coach from Mexico, what's going on? Marcus, what's going Hello from Wisconsin. Um, Coach Flynn, Georgia, what's going on? Coach uh, Birdwell says six stick corner and mesh. You're close. You were close. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Coach Cook from Denver. Marcus from Atlanta. What's up, coaches? And coaches, if you're just joining in, welcome. My name is Coach Ron Mackey. This is my channel. I talk about all things football. If that interests you, hit that bell notification and that subscriber button right there. Uh, I'm gonna talk about the four plays. Four plays from just one formation. The very first formation, I mean play, is going to be, is that okay? Can y'all see that? Everything look good? Let me move this down just a little bit, is stick. Now the formation I'm gonna use is ace, and the first play is going to be stick. Now here is stick right here. I like to do four steps and turn around. I, I say yard marks before, didn't really work. I like just four steps. One, two, three, and then you're turning on the fourth. That's how we like to teach it. Outside release. We've got a slant, and then we got a uh, gif route, and then I like the shoot route. I like the shoot route personally because it makes that cornerback do something. So that's the very first one. Now, here's the caveat. If I run stick this way, I can also run F stick. So this is Y stick. This is F stick. This is either or. Now, for this challenge or simplicity it's twofold i can flop both ways all right so that's the very first one right here and if you haven't seen it before the, the read is super simple okay pre-snap do i have grass on this area yes catch turn throw it i don't even care what's going on right here so if this is a yes pre-snap i live with it if it's not if it's yes i catch it and i turn and then i get confused this guy drops down the safety drops down or something happens i just i just throw the ball away i don't have enough time to come back to this route so if that's a no, then I'm over here. 
you're reading the guy that is head up to inside the stick. If he stays in, I throw out. If he goes out, I throw in. That simple. This right here, the vert, You, he, if you have a quarterback that can do it, let him do it. That's great. I never had that kind of quarterback. If I wanted him to throw this shot, I would just say think, and this is the symbol for R. This is a rock. It has an R in it, R. So think R, and that tells this cat right here, hey, I'm going to throw the piss out of it. I'm just, I'm just throwing it. So I tell him he has to either throw and we catch it, or he throws it and it's out of bounds. So that's the very first one is stick. All right. The second one is going to be mesh. Now, where, here we go. Now, he, here's the thing. If I'm running, which one do I like? I like Leech's mesh better when you're running it from all the different formations. I just think it's really, really, really good. But in the sake of simplicity and to have tags, I'm going to go with Mummy's way of running mesh. And if you don't know Mummy's way, let me... Is that okay? Okay. Hey, don't don't make fun of my center, guys. He uh he eats a lot. Okay. So this is Mummy's version of mesh. I'm just gonna draw it up with no defense. So he either has a corner, an out, a post, or he can kind of run a dig. I mean a curl. That's all the R does. And this is a pre-snap read. The quarterback tells him what to do, and then he runs it. The Y. An L mesh. Now here's the key point. Mummy likes to go up if it's man. I don't like that. And the reason why is because I talked to Coach Piscopo, Drew Piscopo up in North Carolina. And he says it's uh, Coach Leach. What they do if it's man, they just slap hands and then they continue flat. And the reason why you like that is because you don't have to teach quarterback to throw that little arc right there. And if you go back and you actually watch Coach Leach play the games and things like that, you'll see if it's a zone, I mean, if it's man, they just keep going straight across, kind of like a shallow cross. So that's what's going on right here. The Y sets it no deeper than six. The L comes underneath. The L has to make the Y right always. And then the F is to the flat. The running back is right into the opposite flat. The tailback and the F are always opposite. It goes one, two, three. I know he goes one, two, Coach Mummy goes one, two, and then to three, but Lincoln Riley, Coach Leach, all the guys that kind of do that, they always say the mesh is second, always. So that's how I would run it, okay? Why do I like it from this formation? Because you have a couple of tags. You can tag this guy if you wanted to, if you get into tags, into the wheel like that. And we go one, two, three, or you can say one, two, three, or you can just say, hey, quarterback, whenever I tag the F, listen, Unless you could fart it out to these guys and it's wide open, I'm tagging it for a reason. I want you to throw this baby. So just speed up everything and go through it. Okay? So that's the second play I would run. The first one is stick. The second one is mesh. Now, if you have any questions, put them in chat. I'm going to go through chat real quick. I see a lot of y'all. Thank y'all so much for being here. It's freaking awesome. I love doing these things. Let's see if we got Luke from Canada, another quarantine teacher trying to survive. I need football. You are not lying. That's why I'm getting in my Madden. If you haven't already, fellas, twitch.tv slash Coach Mackey. I'm going live all the time. Uh, Joseph would do divide, stick, wire, cross, and mesh. Coach Flynn would do stick, corner, vertical, and sail. Uh, running plays too, right? No, I'm, I'm just going to do freaking uh, draw. If I was to do a run, it would just be a draw. Uh, Todd, stick, corner six, shallow, or my guess is stick, corner six, 92. So you got stick and 92. Let's see. Let's see who's going on. Uh, Coach Fra uh, Timothy, Fra Tony Franklin has the easiest way to run it, in my opinion. He, How does he run it? Let us know in the comments, Coach. Uh, Mr. Mack, uh, I prefer shallow over mesh unless I have some high quality quarterbacks. Well, here's the thing. If you rep mesh every single day, yes, it'll work. If you only do it maybe once a week, then I completely agree with you go with shallow. But remember, we're only doing these four and we're repping them every single day. Even if you have a small team, you can rep, you can do routes on air. What's that? 5, 10, 15, 20, 20 minutes and then be a defensive period. Just getting those reps in over and over and over again. That's what I'm thinking right here. All right, love stick and slant flat. Yes, sir. Coach Jones. Hey, Jones, Um, your question that you asked about, you know, two high rolling to one and two staying three, yes, that still gives you problems. And in, in teams that can stay in two high and then all of a sudden roll right at the snap, 
That's freaking nasty. So to answer your question, I'm sorry. I know you asked that. Uh, what about NCAA, not 14? I don't have that. Can you put motion in it? You could, Coach Dent, if you wanted to. I was just going straight up simplicity. That's what I'm doing. Dan, stick, corner, mesh, four verts. Coach, how do you determine the progression for your QB? I steal them straight up from Coach Mummy. <laughs> I am not smart enough to come up with these things. That's what he teaches, and that's what I teach. Coach Greenfield, six, stick, Y, cross, and mesh. But what about blocking schemes? Tony, come on, man. It's really simple. You know this. You know this. Half slot. That's the answer to everything. Half slot. So if I'm, if I'm starting this side right here to the right, I'm half sliding to the left. If I'm starting them to the left, I'm a half slide to the right. That simple. Why I don't understand the big on big or the, the full field slide and all that different protections. You got just half slide. I love half slide. It solves a lot of problems and it kind of ties into if you're running inside zone, it kind of ties into that. But great question, Tony. Thank you. Welcome aboard, man. Uh, Jeff from Montana, what's going on? Tony runs it at a condensed set and makes it easier to throw the corner out. I like it. It's just condensed sets, just something else the kids have to think about, and I don't like that. I hate when my kids have to think. I uh, love your concept. Thank you. Stole it straight from Hal Mummy. <laughs> uh, Glenn, are the quarterback drops all the same? All right, for, so that's a great question, uh, Jeremy. Um, stick is just a, a rocker step. I'm, Coach Mummy teaches this as well as a rocker step, so I would do that. The other two would be three steps. So that, that even simplifies it even more. You know, two of them, just a drop, just a rocker step. Like if I'm right-handed, I'm putting my right foot forward and I'm keeping my left and then I'm just kind of just dropping it. And then I'm just looking because I want that ball out fast. That's what I'm thinking. All right. Uh, it gives them an easier progression. Okay. Do you call which way to slide? Does the QB call? It's built in. So at the line, the quarterback knows, oh, hey, my first progression is to the right. I'm going to give it, I'm going to give the line protection to the left. It's not that difficult. Uh, Coach Z, true, we do a couple things out of condensed sets, so it works for us good. Hey, if it works, it works, man. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. What coverage do you not like to run mesh against? Mine is match quarters. I'm going to be completely honest, I run it all the time because they can't defend the whole grass. It doesn't matter what they do. They're going to give up grass. The only thing is, will the quarterback get to the grass? There we go. Got to get rid of it quick. The line might be mediocre in protection. Uh, that's true, but I mean, if the if your line's mediocre – you're not going to be able to run any offense. That's the first thing people say when they get to the air raid. What if, you're, what if your line sucks? Well, <laughs> pardon my friends. Well, shit, what if your line sucks against the wing tee or the flex bone or the power eye or all that, the, the double tight super move? If your line sucks, your line sucks. I, I just think you know, if they suck, at least give your quarterback five yards before they get through there instead of being under center and then they still suck. But no one wants to talk about that. I don't understand it. All right, so let's get to the third one. The third third one I would do is going to be six. I would totally do six. And the reason why is because you can allow your quarterback to tag. And I would have him, the F, either vert or sit. I would have him either vert, post, dig, or sit. And I would give these guys right here the ability to come in if not. But the tags, the tags is where six is at. You And really, you can only give them just two tags. That's it. One set of tags for these guys to turn around after three steps and one set of tags for these guys to get three uh, steps. That's it. Because why? If this corner is all the way off here and you know your guy can just turn around and throw it, just have them give them a little signal, turn around, throw it. That's it. And you can do a lot of things. Now, you can expand that. You can give a tag for a slant or an out or anything like that if you want to get creative. But you can do it so easily if you just do two tags. And, I mean, you can come up with anything. You say the outside guys, if you look, grab your mask or, you know, act like you're brushing something off. And then if it, for the inside guys, just tap your shoulder. That's it. That's all you got to do. And why I like this is because it ties into mesh. So if they're... They're worried about the four verts. They're dropping everybody back. Then that's when you go mesh. So if they drop everybody back and I, to defend four verts, then you call mesh. That simple. There's that if then. Okay. So that's the third one. The fourth one, I was going to say corner, but I forget who it is. It wasn't me, 
Someone on Twitter said, why don't you do 95, which is Y cross, with a smash tag? That way you can get both of them. And I was like, oh my God, that is amazing. What am I talking about? So let's say I'm going to draw up Y cross first, okay? So the normal way we draw Y cross, and a lot of coaches do it different ways. Now, if you have a quarterback that has a cannon of an arm, then it's vert, 10 yard out, cross. I like to do a dig and then give him the option of sitting. The post curl never could do, ever. It doesn't matter how many times we did routes on air, it never worked. So I said, let's go a 15 yard dig and then you find that open window, you settle up and show hands and then an out. Okay, so that's the normal way. If you have a quarterback that can throw the ball. Let's say you don't have a quarterback that can throw the ball, that doesn't have a strong arm. Well, then you can just put this on a five yard out. So instead of a 10 yard out, a five yard out, you still get the same thing. But I love corner. I think corner concept is freaking amazing. I love it. How could you fold corner into Y cross? Because I love Y cross as well. And then that is when you hit up the smash tag. So this would just run a three yard hitch. He has the corner route. So now you are getting, it's a twofer. You got the corner concept here then you have the Y cross concept. And that is so nasty. And this can kind of tie in to the stick. If there were, if this backer right here is trying to jam that stick because you're running stick all the time, if they stop stick, then you call Y cross. So you got the four plays and you got two that are ifs and the other two are the in thens, excuse me. So everything ties together. So there you have it. Those are the four plays I would run if I could only install four pass plays, only install the air raid offense this way. I just dropped my pen, excuse me. Only drop my, uh, only install the air raid at a small school. This is what I would do. All right, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. I'm gonna read them real quick. Let's see, what sort of quarterback runs, if any, does Mummy have in his system? Uh, he doesn't run the, quarter, the quarterback, coach. Like uh, Coach Timothy said. Really doesn't do that. He wants his quarterbacks to throw the ball. Did you get any feedback on your head coaching interview? Uh, not yet. There was only three left. I was one of the three. I think it went well. I should be hearing something soon. So fingers crossed. Thank you for asking, though. Uh, Reed, like the haircut? What hair? <laughs> it's all gone. You should have seen my wife's facial expression when she opened up the door and saw it. She was like, oh, okay. It's like, baby, I don't say anything to you when you get a haircut. Why are you, say <laughs> Why are you saying it to me? Uh, Austin, what coverage? Oh, okay, I already read that. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Just going through, just going through. If your line isn't good, your quick screen game better be. You're exactly right. There's ways to mitigate having a bad line. It's not like I'm saying, hey, quarterback, drop 10 yards and then wait and everybody go deep. No, you, you. what the air raid is, is you're throwing it short to the guys that can run and let them do their thing. You're not dumping the ball down 50 yards. Six may be the pass play in football, especially when you add the tags. You're absolutely right. Uh, Terry, you can tag the F on a shallow as well. You, with six, you can do a lot of things. It is it is very good. Um, Dan, agree, take, he agrees. Uh, tags make everything better. Rob, what's going on? Gabe, we tag R and T wheel on mesh. I love it. Uh, Joseph, backside of Y cross is mesh. Yes, Mark. Hey, Mark. We need to get you on, big man. If y'all don't know who Mark is, he is the run and shoot guru. Follow him on Facebook. He is really, he, he does the run and shoot. I freaking love the run and shoot. Why do I like this over the run and shoot? Or why do I do this over the run and shoot? I don't know it well enough to run it. Like I think I can if you gave me like three years, but if I'm going into a brand new program and don't know anything, this is what we're doing. But Mark, we've got to get you on, man. Uh, Terry, mesh can be tagged so you can have Y run the corner. You're absolutely right. What if with your outside wide receivers drawing, free safeties 24-7 on the top on you want to get them more involved? So if you want the outside guys to get more involved, tag it with hitches or quick screens or things of that nature if you want to get them more involved. Uh, progressions on The progression on sale in the air raid, it's vert out flat and then backside. So it's vert out. So here we go. I'll draw it up for you real quick out of this. This is how we run sale. So it's a vert. It's an out. 
Now here's the key point on this. You want to give them the ability to sit. If you have a corner that's right there, sit them down like that, out. We do a pigtail and then a dig. So vert out, flat, backside. And we just name it backside. That's what we do. You're the man coach. Great presentation. You ever run the backs cross like Bill Walsh did? Great. I don't. I did not. Bill Walsh is way smarter than me. So <laughs> that's what I do. Uh, let's see. Timothy, get the ball in space. High percentage throws. You are absolutely right. If your quarterback's not completing 60% of the throws, either he really sucks or you're calling plays that are making him force the ball down the field. Jake, thoughts on using motions in the passing game? I love it. I, I like motion. Makes the guys think, the defense think, and stuff like that. If you can do that, that's great. Um, Thomas, what's going on? Are high school fields spread like college? They try to be. Austin, do you read the intermediate defender like in the West Coast on sale? No. I mean, you can. Me, I'm just going three steps. Is there color in this grass area? Yes, go to the next one. Is there color in this grass area? Yes, go to the next one. That, that's all I'm doing. And you can use the R4. Dub is a very smart man. Dub, if you're watching, you're awesome. I love you. High fives and butt slaps. I could just never teach it. So I like the color in the grass area. All right. And Jeff, nice job, coach. I appreciate it. Hey, coaches, thank you so much for being a part of this. Uh, thank you for coming. If Again, if this is the first time visiting, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification. I will be back tomorrow. I freaking love this, especially when I'm on quarantine because this is the only time I can actually talk football because for right now, I am holding down the fort with a four-year-old and a two-year-old. And if you're following me on Twitter, you see we're going through Frozen and we are going through all the Mickey Mouse. So thank you, Disney, for putting up Disney+. Plus. I know all y'all are struggling as well doing this. So hey, gentlemen, high fives and butt slaps, man. You know, Mr. Mom and Mr. Dad, that's what we are. Uh, if you like when I do things like this, follow me on Twitch. I actually play, uh, I'm not doing it tonight, got some things to do, but I'm playing tomorrow, 9 o'clock Eastern. I run the air raid. We're doing the road to 32. I'm trying to win a game with all 32 NFL uh, teams using only the air raid playbook. I you talk about why I'm throwing it, the progressions, all of that. It's a blast. You need to get there. I love doing it. Thank y'all for uh, sticking around. Hey, until next time, let's continue to match the spread, score points, and have fun. Coaches, high fives, and butt slaps. I'll see you tomorrow.